Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to go over my April paycheck number three budget and this is for April the 30th through May the 15th. All right, well I am using a Clever Fox dotted notebook and I think this is, this is kind of like a teal color. I've had this for quite some time. I use this for my budgeting uh, for quite some time. I was using the Budget Moms Budget by Paycheck Workbook, but I just really wasn't inspired to write in all of the boxes today for some reason, and I really just wanted to do a pen and paper budget. So I hope you guys don't mind. I know some of you prefer um, just regular pen and paper. So anyway, um, I have gone ahead and written down all of my categories to save a little time. And then uh, just like when I was in debt, um, I am going to start tracking my uh, savings over here on the left. So I recently became debt free. I am currently on baby step number three, which if you guys are familiar with the Dave Ramsey baby steps, baby step number three is to save a three to six month emergency fund. So I've already written in what my beginning balance is here um, in my savings account, which is $2,415.15. That uh, included YouTube earnings, which was on the 21st of April. And my YouTube check was $481.74. Since I don't do like a formal budget for YouTube, everything that I make from YouTube just goes directly into savings. I don't do a separate budget for that, but I will um, start tracking my emergency fund savings so you guys can see how uh, my savings does grow. Um, I don't know yet what the goal is. I need to sit down and work out, um, you know, a bare bones budget so that I can kind of get an idea of what a three, six or 12 month emergency fund will look like. So I will be um, posting a video of that soon. It is on my to-do list. Okay, well, this is, uh, like I said, April paycheck number three. I am paid every two weeks and twice a year I get three paychecks in a month and April is uh, one of those months for me. So I love three paychecks months. It's nice to be able to spread everything out um, a little bit more. So let's go ahead and start with my income. I am a salary employee and my total take home income is 1000 $527.98. Moving on to my fixed expenses. My first expense is rent. Now I do live in the South and the rent here is $500 per month. But what I do, um, each paycheck is set aside half of my rent. Now, since April was a three paycheck month. The first paycheck of April, I did not set aside half of my rent. I did for paycheck number two, and I'm going to do that again for paycheck number three. So half of my rent is $250. And next is the electricity. And just like with my rent, I'm going to set aside what I, about half. Um, I'm not really sure. We've only lived in this place for two months now. And I'm really not sure uh, what the utilities are going to look like from month to month. But my monthly budget for electricity is $200. I'm going to set aside half um, in this paycheck. So that's going to be $100 for electricity. Then we have the water bill, and the water bill, I don't know what it is for April yet, but for March, it was 60, I think it was $60. So I am going to go ahead and set aside half of that, which would be 30. It may not be that much, but um, I would rather budget a little bit more uh, than to budget less and then come up short. 
Next is the trash bill. Now the trash is paid quarterly, but I am going to go ahead and set aside um, $25 from this paycheck. So it is right around $150 every three months. So that is going to be $25 for this check, so $50 per month. Next is the internet, and the internet is $90 some odd dollars, um, and I am going to go ahead and budget $50. I can't remember if it's, maybe it's $95, something like that, but $50 is a nice round number, so that's what um, I am going to budget, so $100 per month. Next is lawn care. So I do live on um, a property that has quite a bit of um, yard that needs to be mowed and weed eated. We are out in the country and there are tons of trees out here. We have a lot of limbs that fall. Um, anyone familiar with the South knows we get really powerful storms this time of year, tornado weather all that kind of good stuff. And we have a lot of branches and limbs that fall and need to be hauled off. So lawn care is um, going to be for not only mowing and weed eating, but to have the lawn company haul off debris as well. And we probably have, I don't know, maybe two full loads of debris that needs to be hauled off. And they told me it was going to be $100 per load and then $70 for a mow and weed eat. And we're on probably half an acre, if I had, if I had to guess, half an acre uh, roundabout. So it is a really good sized property. It takes a long time to, um, to work. So the cost, I'm trying to justify when I tell you guys how much this is, you'll understand why I feel like I need to explain it. But uh, the cost for that is $170. So they'll come out one time uh, during this two week period, they will mow and weed eat once, and then they will also haul off a truckload of debris. Like I said, I probably will only need to pay $170 maybe in uh, May paycheck number one, and then all the debris will be gone, and then it'll bump down to $70 a paycheck. But for now, I, I do realize this is a lot of money. Um, all right, moving on over here is Apple. Now, this is for Apple storage. Um, if you're new here, my daughter lives with me. She is in a master's program, and I have taken over some of the um, the bills that she had been paying, this is one of them, and um, it is $2.99 per month. And I know it seems like a, a silly amount of money, but I went ahead and we have a family iTunes account, and I just put my debit card number in for payment, which means um, things like Apple, Disney+, Plus, uh, uh, our family plan, all that kind of good stuff is now going to be paid by me, whereas she had been paying it before. So the Apple Store is $2.99. The other things they're due later on um, next month. All right, next is Netflix, which I'm sure everybody knows what that is. It is a streaming service and it is $17.99. And then I have Hulu, also a streaming service. It is $11.99. And my renter's insurance is going to be due, and that is $49.17. So let's go ahead and add these expenses up and see what the total is. Um, all right, so $250 for rent, $100 for electricity, $30 for water, $25 for trash, 50 for internet, 170 for the lawn, 299 for Apple, 1799 for Netflix, 1199 for Hulu, 4917 and that is for renters. So my total fixed expenses is $707.40. All right, moving on to my cash expenses. So I use, I'm a cash budgeter. 
I, of course, I pay these items up here with my debit card. I'll cash app the lawn guy. But all of my cash expenses and sinking funds, these are all of my cash categories. Uh, first category is food. Now, again, it's uh, my daughter and I. She is, um, well, I am vegetarian, but would rather eat more vegan. And my daughter is a meat eater. And so we definitely have two totally different diets. Um, we are still trying to work out the food budget, but I realized that she, my, she's in her early 20s. She eats a lot of quick and easy stuff, high carb, you know, all the things that I used to eat when I was her age, pizza, um, hamburgers, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And it's just not stuff that I want to eat. And we really need two totally different budgets for food. Again, she's in a master's program. She is not working. She's not allowed to work in this program. And I am going to cover these expenses. So we talked about this last night. And we have decided that we are going to do $60 a week each. Now, when I lived on my own before she and I moved in together, um, I was able to maintain $60 a week for myself every single week, no problems. I perfected that budget and that works for me. She um, also did kind of like a mock budget and thought about what she was budgeting before. She said $60 a week would be great for her as well. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so it is going to be $240 for food. Now, we may not spend this entire amount of money. My plan is to give her her 60. She wants to use Walmart grocery pickup. I prefer to go into the store because what I am going to be buying is fresh fruits and veggies. And every time I have grocery pickup, they never pick out the items that expire days out. It always expires before I have a chance to eat it. So um, you'll see some changes in, in the way that I um, do my cash expenses. So that's going to be our food budget, which I realize is high for two people, but we have completely different diets and we're just going to try to see if this works for us. Next is household. This is for toilet paper, um, paper towels, all that kind of good stuff. And our budget is $40 for that. Next is fur babies. I have a six-year-old chihuahua and a kitty who is three years old, and my budget for them is $20 a week, so that's $40 for this check. Gas for my car. I still don't have a car. I have a uh, loaner car through the dealership. My car is getting the engine replaced right now, and... Um, but I will be doing some driving in this loaner here um, in the next week. So I am going to stick with my normal $20 budget because this is for gas and oil changes. And so $20 per week will be $40 for this check. Last is spending money, $20 per week, $40 for this paycheck. So let's add that up. So we've got $240. Maybe it's easier to do the $40, right? So there's $40. Um, there's 80, 160, so 160 plus 240 is $400 for cash expenses. And then moving on to my sinking funds, the first is Christmas. My budget is $20 a week, so $40 for the paycheck. Gifts, which is Mother's Day, Father's Day, and birthdays is $20 a week, $40 for this paycheck. Then we have fur baby. So this uh, cash category up here, I didn't mention. This is for kitty litter, uh, wet food, dry food, treats, that kind of good stuff. My sinking funds is for their vet visits. So when they need to have their shots and all that kind of good stuff. And the budget is $20 a week, so $40 per paycheck. And last is um, cell phone. So my debt-free gift to myself is a new cell phone. I really want one of the 12, uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max, I think it is. And they run around $1,200, so I'm saving up for it. So I am going to set aside 
$120 from his paycheck, so I'll set aside $60 per week. All right, so let's add this up. So 120 for the cell phone and then 120 for uh, Christmas gifts and fur babies. That is $240 for sinking funds. So now let's see how much um, I will have left over to uh, put towards my emergency fund. So my income, $1527.98 minus my fixed expenses 70714 minus my cash expenses which is 400 and last are my sinking funds and that's 240 so from this paycheck i will be able to set aside $180.84 so over here in my, on this left-hand side, I've got my beginning balance and savings, which is $2,415.15. I'm going to be depositing $180.84. So that is $24.15. 15 plus, is that right? Yes. Plus 180 is $2,595.99. So $2,595.99. I'm going to have to see how the month of May goes. Um, I really want to get my... Um, my three to six month emergency fund done as quickly as possible. And I realize that's not a lot of money. And the reason for that, well, first is the food budget. That definitely is making a difference, but also saving for a phone, $120. That's, that's a lot of money. I would, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this as much as I really want a new cell phone I don't know that I'm going to be okay with just putting $200 a paycheck into savings. So I'm really going to have to see how this goes, um, but I'm not sure that I'm okay with that. I, I may have to trim some of my expenses um, down a little bit uh, so that I can put more in savings because I'm really not, I'm not happy with that number. But this is the budget for this paycheck. Like I said, I'm going to see how this goes, saving for the phone. I think I already have, I have, I think almost $200 saved already. So we'll see how it goes. I, I'm not going to get too down on myself about it, but I can always change my mind. If I decide later that I really would rather put the money in savings and get a phone some other time, I can always take the money that I put in this envelope and transfer it to savings. Um, so that is always an option. All right. Well, that is everything, guys. I hope you guys don't mind me flipping back and forth between the um, the budget mom's budget workbook and just plain pen and paper. I just was not, I just wasn't feeling the, the workbook. I haven't been using the other pages like the trackers and um, I just was not inspired to use it this time. So I hope you don't mind just regular pen and paper. Um, anyway, that is everything, guys. I have rambled on long enough. This again is for April paycheck number three, which is for April 30th through the, um, through May the 13th. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.